Uh, hey friends, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, in this video, we will see what is the nave based algorithm is. Uh, this is the very small uh, article that I have written on the nave based algorithm. Uh, you don't need to uh, read the, all this theory part. Uh, you just have to uh, focus on this, uh, this couple of the diagrams which I have showed you here. Uh, the nave base is a prediction algorithm. It means uh, based on some historical facts or historical uh, data, we can predict the future activities. So that's the main uh, theme of the nave base algorithm that if we have some sort of uh, historical information and based on that historical information, whether we can predict the future activities or not. So in nave base, uh, there are three concepts or we can say three parameters that we provide to calculate the algorithm. The first is prior, then likelihood, and then posterior. Uh, prior means which includes all the information from our day-to-day -day past experience or say life experience. So for example, if my friend calls up in the morning and tells me that he is drinking something and then he asks me to guess that, then I can say he is drinking either tea or coffee. So that is our day-to-day -day life experience. We usually get up in the morning and drink tea or coffee. So here prior is my past information. Then the second is the likelihood, which is the possibility information. So in my previous example, if my friend tells me that whatever he is drinking is very cold, then there is a possibility that he is drinking cold coffee or cold milk. So that is the possibility information, the likelihood that there are some chances that there are some information which is possible across the scenario. And then third is the posterior. Posterior is the predicting that particular information based on the given set of information. So if I can say if my if my friend is telling me that he is drinking tea or coffee, then on the basis of that, I can say that tomorrow also he will, tomorrow also in the morning he will drink tea or coffee. So that is the likelihood prior and posterior. Now there is one more uh, important information over here is the evidence, which is the uh, total number of the cases when the event occurs alone, which we use to calculate our algorithm. Now that we will see uh, later in our example. So let's see this with an example. Let's say there are 100 people and out of this 100 people, we want to find out how many of them above age 60 are prone to heart disease. So here the problem statement is we want to find out the total number of people or total percentage of people who are above age 60 are prone to heart disease. And given the data we have 25 out of 100 people were previously positively tested for heart disease and 75 out of 100 people are above age 60. So here we have two kinds of data, one which is an historical information and one which is a current scenario or the current evidence. Now coming back to our formula which is posterior is equal to prior multiplied by likelihood divided by evidence. So implementing this formula in our example, we want to find out the posterior which is how many people who are above age 60 are prone to heart disease. Then prior is the historical information which is 25 in our case multiplied by likelihood which is the possibility value which is 100 in our case divided by evidence which is 75 in our example. So this gives us 33.33% so we can say 33% of people who are above age 60 are prone to heart disease. So this is how naive based theorem is used to predict the data based on given set of information.